Hi, I'm Dr. Sophie Yacoub. Uh, I lead the Dengue Research Group at Okru uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So my work is centered all around dengue, uh, which is a globally relevant virus. It's a major cause of admission for many hospitals in Vietnam, especially in the rainy season. And globally, there are around 100 million cases of dengue every year. And this is increasing due to many reasons, including urbanization, um, but also in response to climate change and human mobility. To address some of the major issues around the uh, dengue and also presenting some of the expertise we have in our group, uh, we have four sort of major themes uh, for the dengue group. One is to uh, try and improve how we monitor patients, so to see if we can innovate in, in actually understanding which patients will go on to get more severe forms of the disease. And we're, we're doing this by using various different uh, modalities, including wearable devices, um, also using point-of-care ultrasounds and echocardiography, and also clinical decision support systems to help manage patients who come in. So one major issue for hospitals in endemic countries like uh, Vietnam is this sudden surge of patients that come in with dengue. Uh, so then to identify who actually needs to be in hospital and who can be safely discharged uh, is really important. And so we're trying to help uh, understand which patients will go on to get more severe disease and which patients can be uh, safely sent home. So apart from improving uh, clinical monitoring, we're also running clinical trials to improve the outcome of patients. Currently, there are no uh, therapeutics to treat patients with dengue, there's only supportive care. So what we're uh, trying to understand is uh, to look at the underlying mechanism to see which patients uh, would benefit from a, a therapeutic. So we're looking at host-directed therapies uh, for patients who are already in hospital, but also looking earlier on in the disease uh, with antiviral uh, medications to improve clinical outcomes. A third uh, theme for the group is looking at uh, the impact of climate change on the dengue uh, epidemiology. Uh, we're working more with climate scientists both within Vietnam and also in the UK in Oxford and we're developing a uh, prediction tool. It's called DART, Dengue Advanced Readiness Tools, uh, to allow hospitals and public health officers to prepare in advance for that sort of sudden surge of cases that we, we see as the dengue season starts. So this is a multidisciplinary project um, involving uh, modelers, uh, clinicians, climate scientists, virologists. The overall aim is to see if we can predict smaller and flexible spatial scale where there will be a dengue outbreak in particularly in cities like Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, but we're hoping to expand this work uh, regionally, particularly as dengue is now spreading up uh, altitudinally, so we're seeing at major outbreaks now in Nepal and higher up in other cities in, like, in the Himalayas. That's a new area of interest for us, that sort of intersection between uh, climate and infectious diseases. And the fourth a uh, sort of related theme, because in all of our clinical trials we always try and investigate what the underlying mechanism of, of the uh, pathophysiology of the disease is. So we're also investigating the immune pathogenesis uh, of specific high-risk groups that we know are at higher risk of, of developing complications and, and those include things like comorbidities, diabetes, obesity. Uh, cardiovascular disease, but also in the elderly population. We know that these, these groups of people do worse and we're trying to understand uh, why and, and if we can um, impact any of the clinical outcomes for these patients as well. Dengue is a neglected uh, disease. In the, in, even in this day and age, we have nothing to offer uh, a patient that comes in except supportive care. So what we're hoping is not only we will in the future we'll be able to predict where the the cases will occur uh, so we can intervene um, with prophylaxis or, or vector control but also when patients do present we will be able to um, offer a, a particular therapeutic whether that's an early antiviral or or a later uh, host directed therapy we're also uh, hoping to be able to monitor patients better by using wearable devices 
Uh, so this will help healthcare staff, which are really who are really overburdened in in hospitals during peak season, but also to safely monitor patients out of hospital um, uh, using sort of remote monitoring and, and wearable devices. So overall, trying to impact health systems, but also individual patient care.